While there are many elements that can create gearbox problems, there are four leading causes that we want to talk about. These causes are contamination, lack of lubrication, misalignment, and overloading. In this segment, we want to talk about contamination. Some of the types of contamination are water, dirt, chemicals, metal shavings, and wear particles. Water. It is the biggest contamination problem in pivot gearboxes, period. If you are draining water out of your gearboxes, you have contamination problems. Oil leaking out of gearboxes is not the first sign of seal problems on these gearboxes. Water leaking in means your leaking seal problem has started and your gearbox problems have started. We'll come back to water contamination and why it's so serious in a few minutes. As we know, dirt is an abrasive and as water leaks past the seals, dirt comes with it and gets between the shaft and the seal. Wear on the shaft from the dirt and water has started and as the wear on the shaft gets worse, the contamination problem is going to get worse, bringing in more dirt, more water. These not only cause wear on the shaft, but also on the bearings and gear teeth. Chemicals such as fertilizer, surfactants, or wetting agents, when introduced into the gearbox, along with the water, break down the lubricant's ability to separate from water. Oil is lighter than water, and at the end of a season, you can drain the water from the bottom of the gearbox. But when some of these chemicals have been introduced, the water and oil do not separate as they did before and you're left with an oil-water emulsion. Metal shavings, for the most part, are removed during the manufacturing process, but sometimes some can be left behind. This is why the manufacturers require you to drain out the initial fill of lubricant after a year of service to keep from voiding your warranty. Wear particles also are a form of contamination. They can come from initial break-in period or from any of the root causes of gearbox failure. This is another reason that your manufacturer requires you to drain out the initial fill after a year. For longer gearbox life, this is very important to do, and yet many put it off due to the small added expense. Big mistake, and not long-term decision making that we spoke about in the introduction. Back to water contamination and why it is so serious in these gearboxes. When we combine water, oxygen, heat, and the additives that are used in gear oils, acids are formed. The additives that have been commonly used would include sulfur, phosphorus, borates, and chlorine. They form sulfuric acid, phosphoric acid, boric acid, and hydrochloric acid when combined with water, oxygen, and heat above absolute zero. What do these acids do to metal? They eat it up. The heat produced by the gearbox working also has an effect on oxidation. This heat is a byproduct of friction. Friction defined, as we all know, is resistance to movement. So as the temperature increases from friction, approximately every 18 degrees Fahrenheit, oxidation of your lubricant doubles. What this means then is that the life of your lubricant has been cut in half with every 18 degree increase in temperature. For example, if the lubricant that you're using had a lifespan of let's say a thousand hours, when the gearbox is running at 100 degrees. Its life would be cut to 500 hours at 118 degrees, or even 250 hours at 136 degrees. So heat plays an important role in acid action and oxidation rates, and they in turn are reducing the life of your gearbox. So, to answer the question, why does Sprinkle Lube 1200 work so well? We deal with contamination on every front. In the seal area, Sprinkler Lube 1200 lubricates the rubber and shaft contact area. If the seals or shaft are worn, it comes through the contact area and forms its own seal, creating a barrier against water, dirt, and chemicals, keeping them from entering your gearbox. In dealing with acid action and oxidation, the worst problems from contamination, we have formulated Sprinkler Lube 1200 to resist water. And even if water does get into the gearbox, Sprinkler Lube 1200 has been designed to protect against acid action and oxidation. We cannot eliminate the additives needed to carry loads. They're needed. But eliminating the water and reducing the heat created, we are able to address the chemical process and limit the formation of these acids. Concerning increases in temperature from friction, 
Sprinkler Lube 1200 is formulated to carry a heavier load than normal gear oils and will reduce temperatures. By carrying these heavier loads and reducing friction, the contamination from wear particles is also greatly reduced. Again, Sprinkler Lube 1200 helps stop the introduction of contaminants in the gearbox, whether they come from the inside of the box or outside. This should be noted, not all contamination comes from the outside of the box. So Sprinkler Lube 1200 reduces acid action, oxidation, heat, and wear, attacking the root problem contamination, stopping the cascading domino effect of symptoms resulting in a long-term fix.